What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I am back. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded. Well, not a long time, a couple of weeks. But you know, it's been a while. The Players' Championship is this week. As of when this video will go up, um, Chris and I will be driving to Virginia. And I'm here on super dad duty because baby Mav won't sleep. But today what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna do a little bit of a what's in the bag for this weekend at the Players. I've got a few balls, yeah. Let's do it. What I believe we're bowling on this weekend is 39 foot chameleon and 45 foot dragon. Uh, I don't know how the patterns have changed this year, but we bowled on those two patterns last year. Uh, we actually had four patterns last year, but they just brought it down to two patterns. So chameleon, 14 games on Saturday, and then dragon, 14 games on Sunday. That's 28 games of qualifying. Uh, but for some reason, I have 27 balls lined up for two patterns and 14 games uh, each day. So hopefully I have at least one that rolls correctly. As you can see, here is my ball room. It's not as big as Darren's, obviously. There's some shoes. But let's get started. I have them somewhat organized. Uh, but the top of the bag, we're going to be over here. I have a reality. That one I'm going to keep at. A little bit of a shinier surface as you can see uh, I don't plan on sanding that because the two balls next to it are probably gonna have a little bit more surface on them uh, so I have a proton there in the middle uh, I would say it's a little bit cleaner through the front part of the lane than that hypercell to the right so I'm gonna utilize it as such it's a little bit more stable just because of the layout and then of course the hypercell on the right um, that's my big hooking ball I'll probably hit that with surface these balls likely will come out on the dragon. I don't see myself pulling them out too much on the chameleon uh, just because it's a high friction center that we're going to and I just don't plan on throwing them on that. And next down the line, we have the altered reality. Again, I believe I'll use that a little bit on the dragon pattern. And then in the middle we have the UFO alert, which could have some play on both patterns that's a ball I like to use on pretty much all patterns um, that's probably if someone were to ask me what my favorite ball is that's it and then we have an RSTX one uh, I threw it on the dragon last year maybe it'll work again this year and here we go the meat of the bag this is what you'd call what most people would say are their benchmarks I suppose so here we have a special guy Oldie but goodie, a prodigy. Um, it's a little stronger than this aspect here. Uh, it just flares a little bit more. And I'm surprised how strong the cover stock still is, but I'll take it. I love that ball. So this one, I can hook a little bit more. The aspect's gonna be a little better, playing a little straighter, keeping my angles a little bit closed. Or when the backs are flying, that's when I like to use that ball. It's kind of like my old reliable. It goes everywhere with me. And then if I really have to big hook it, I have a Zen Master here. I need to hit it with surface, that thing is shiny. But yeah, that's kind of the meat of the bag. In the second row down, I have a Helios. I can see this one getting a lot of play on the Chameleon. Uh, I tend to struggle if I have to move left really early on kind of 38, 39, 40 foot patterns and they're a little bit flat in the middle uh, just because my ball gets offline so quick. So this could have a lot of play. This and that will have a lot of play, I feel. Unless your thing just plays a lot, then, you know. You know what it is. Just drill up a Zen. You never know when you need a Zen, so what more needs to be said. And then I have a Pro Motion, which is kind of like my safety ball. Um, for the reason I was talking about earlier, where my ball gets offline super fast on, you know, medium-ish, medium-short pattern. So that's another clean and slow option for me, and it's been very useful for me. We'll move a step down. We have... The original trend, which is a cleaner and not super whippy option, which I like. It'll be a step down from the Zen. Um, the Zen will probably get a little bit of surface on it. The trend, I like to keep it how it is. Uh, I find it rolls very well for me like that. And then a trend too. Um, not really sure when I'll use it, but it's an outside of the box option with that nano hybrid cover and then that unique uh, piston LD core, whatever it's called. It could see some play if the 
maybe the long pattern if I catch some pairs with a lot of friction up front maybe that's got a chance but we'll see and then here is the gem that I am drilling you can hear baby man crying Shh, it's okay buddy it's okay I have a daredevil I'm gonna drill that uh, it's probably one of my favorite pearl symmetrics that I've ever thrown so yeah why not for the, for a major championship why not and then we're gonna move on Yes, ma'am, I know. We're moving on. These are my cleaner balls. Uh, as you can see, I have a high rib pearl there on the left. Not much needs to be said about that. High rib pearl, great ball. And then a hyped pearl. It's going to give me a little bit more shape off the friction than the high rib pearl, so I don't really see myself using that too much. Um, but you never know. I might catch a pair with a, you know, with a really tight down lane, and I need a ball to get off it really quick. But we'll see. And then I have a Honey Badger Revival. Um, that's been my burn ball of choice lately, even more than the Hyrule Pearl. So oh, I like it. I feel like it reads the body of the lane a little better than the Hyrule Pearl does. And I just think it's a cool looking ball. So whatever. And then here we have some, I don't even know how I'd characterize this bag. I've got two hustles. As you can see, I have a hustle camo. Um, this one hooks a little bit more than that hustle link. The hustle link has a lot of games on it. So. The ink's a little better for playing straight. If I need to hook a hustle, this is the one. And then right here, we've got a little bit of an outside of the box ball as well. It's a rain of power. One of my favorite balls in college. It has a unique combination of a high RG, mid-high diff, and a fairly strong cover. So I can see it coming to play in the chameleon. That ball is going to be one of my first options, I think, when I get out of urethane, which leads me to my next section. Isn't she purdy? Let's start up here. I've got the UC3. Uh, it's been a hot topic as of late since it came out. Uh, rolls well for a lot of people. And it really does bridge that gap between urethane and reactive for me. So either that or the Reign of Power will have a lot of play, I believe, on the Chameleon. Unless I'm able to throw these guys for the whole block. But I don't think I will. So this is my kind of go-to urethane ball pitch black uh, i've been throwing this one specifically for a while as well as this fast pitch um typically when i ball in medium patterns i'm not sure which urethane balls are going to roll well uh when it comes to short patterns i can pretty much pick one or the other and make them work uh, so gonna bring them both and then i've got this pitch black here that hooks an obscene amount probably you know eight to ten more than that pitch black so yeah why not who wouldn't love that and then I have a grenade here, which probably hooks about eight or 10 less than that pitch black. So if I really need to get on top of the lip or something, or really shut down my angles, need a ball to keep on line, um, this has a chance. I don't think I will need it, but why not? I have enough bag space for it, so who cares? And then the trusty old spare ball, because everyone needs their spares. Oh, and that's it. That's my big mess of bags and balls. I hope at least a few of them work. If not, then I need some therapy or or I need to drill more balls. You know, that could be it. That's a rundown of what I'm bringing to the Players' Championship this weekend. Uh, 27 balls in all for 28 games, so I'm pretty close to being able to throw one per game. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. But once again, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, drop a comment and a like down below. Um, let me know if you want me to do more what's in the bags uh, for the upcoming tour season because this is the start of the 2022 tour season. So a few more tournaments coming up. Yeah, let me know if you want me to do more what's in the bags or if you don't want me to do more what's in the bags. Fine, be like that. From me and Baby Mav, who finally fell asleep, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See you.